Hello, welcome back to Access, where Dave and I are back on the lovely rooftop terrace in LA. Oh yes. Today, Dave, we've had our favourite day of the year. Yeah. It's the day we have our little holiday and we get to play the new Pez. Although, it's not called Pez anymore, Dave. Is this not one of your points? This That's is one of my points. Oh, good. So I'm gonna, I was going to say. I was going to do like a cool creative intro where right. I just dive straight into the points. Right, sorry, yeah, I've ruined that. You have. Anyway, point one of the five big changes coming to Pez. The first change is that it's no longer called just Pez. <laughs> the, fu- <laughs> the full name is now eFootball Pez 2020. Yes. And uh, this is like, it's a big statement because it, is. it means Pez or eFootball Pez, to give it its full title now, is focusing or is, is sees itself as like the football game for esports yeah which is like you know a big deal and that sort of ha- has affected how they've gone about developing and the changes they've made to pez 2020 yeah have been informed by the fact that they are positioning themselves as you know the football game for esports which is just you know it's a big thing it is a big it's thing a, it's a big change and an exciting one it I is think. i mean i remember pro evo became Pez. I mean, it was always Pro Evo when I was growing up. It used to be International Superstar Soccer. Well, true. Then it was International Superstar Soccer Pro. And then it was Pro Evolution Soccer. Which and I always called Pro Evo. And then, then Pro Evo, yeah. And now, then it was just called Pez. And it was officially Pez, yeah. because people called it Pez anyway. And now here we are, eFootball Pez 2020. Yes, that is the first big change. It's the a big deal. The second big change, uh, or the big thing, is that uh, Andres Iniesta, former star midfielder of Barcelona. And our Master League team. Yes, best player to never win a Ballon d'Or. Absolutely robbed of that for years. Yeah. Um, has been a consultant, a gameplay consultant on the game. Yeah. So basically, Iniesta has come in and has advised Konami on improvements that should be made to the game. And... From that have cu- has come two new things that are quite big. One of them yeah, is uh, the finesse dribble. Yeah, I loved this. Um, so we had a few games of Pez. We did. Uh, the fine- <laughs> not enough, to not be enough. honest. No, but not yes, enough. We wanted did. to play for ages more. The finesse dribble basically allows you to do like really good close control of the ball. Um, so when you've got the ball trapped, you can hold down R1, I think it is, and just kind of move the ball around your body with the right stick. In fact, it's just the right stick, isn't it's it? Right it's stick. just the right yeah. stick. It's just the right stick. So, yeah, with the right stick, you sort of move the ball around your body, and it, it feels really intuitive, and it's really it does, snappy yeah. as well. It is. And it, you, I don't know, it, the, when you're playing with a really skillful player as well, you're just doing yeah. lovely little touches that I mean, feel very cool. Dave was playing as very easy. Pez Legends, which I includes was. Ronaldinho, and just... oh. You were annoying me, Dave. With I know. Little, it was brilliant. Wee. Wee. I just couldn't get the ball off him. <laughs> so he could, yeah, I telegraphed my tackles and Dave was just like, whoop, nope. little flick around the back. And you can combine the right stick with the left stick as well. So yeah. you can drag the ball back with the right stick and then with the left stick you can push off in a certain direction. So you can do like a drag back and a flick through your legs. Yeah. And you know, with skillful players like Ronaldinho, Messi, etc., it sort of really liberates them and allows them to do really cool stuff I think like you said I think the key word is intuitive because I've never been a player who's been a, I'm talking yeah. about of video games now not a footballer <laughs> uh, who's been able to or not or I've never really done skill moves I think you have to learn Same. those kinds of things uh, and this it was just like instantly my thumbs knew what the score was yeah and and how to use it and it was very easy to do lovely little things that you just think that footballers should be able to do yeah like, these are pro players they yeah. they're doing these these things all the time and it was very easy to do and the other thing is uh the dummy shot which i really like yeah now there there's been like the fake shot before in pairs yeah. where you go to shoot and then you press the x button just before the player's about to shoot and the shoot the shot cancels and you yeah. can, like faint inside um the new dummy shot allows you not just to faint but also to to put a pass on the end of your fake shot yeah so you'll often see players doing this clever creative players in and around the box like iniesta used to be yeah and I can see why he thinks this should be in the game. Yeah. As the player will go to shoot, and just as the player's about to shoot, you press triangle, and you'll, instead of shooting, thread a lovely through ball. And the fact that it's now kind of focusing on e-football, um, 
you know, it sort of makes sense because this is the Definitely. type of move that will work especially well against human opposition, I think. Yeah. So human opposition are lo- looking at your body position to try and anticipate what you're going to do and just having this tool at your disposal. Yeah, exactly. It's a new weapon in the arsenal, isn't it? It's yeah. an, uh, another thing to have to be considering. Like, are, is it going to be a shot? Are they going to partial like Mark the Mark Man instead? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right and in, the, in the esports scene. It's another layer of, of stuff to For learn sure. and, and become proficient with. And Pez has always been like brilliant at that kind of final third play when it comes to creatively yeah. unpicking the defence. Uh, and this just adds an extra layer to it. I think yeah, it's really, definitely. really cool. Um, the third big change is a, a feature called Match Day, um, which allows you to play upcoming matches. It's like a live service. Okay, yeah. Uh, upcoming matches that are going to be happening in real life so say if there's a big Premier League clash coming up or yeah. a big European match coming up and you can play as those teams that are playing and just like rack up points and stuff and it's just a cool way to engage with the world of real life football yeah I think okay um, so that's a cool thing um, fourth entry now this may seem small but I think also it is very telling um, in terms of how Pez is positioning itself and that is the default camera angle has now changed yes. to a more broadcast style when I first played it I was like oh yeah, oh, I don't know about this yeah. but then I played a full match in this broadcast camera angle by the end of it I was like this is this is pretty cool yeah. like I like this it gives it a more kind of you look like it looks more like you're watching a game on television it's kind of slightly high up and when you go towards either goal it becomes slightly tilted um and you might think that may make it harder to control in those areas but i did not find that i mean i played one of the developers and i beat him with this uh, i wondered when this was going to come out yes well done he didn't let you win he didn't let me win Uh, i i was going to say rob that you uh, played a lot more Pez last year than I did and so I think you were slightly more resistant to this camera angle yes. as much as you <laughs> noticed the change I knew that I didn't play as much last year I could see the change but I was instantly uh, so I ro- watched Rob beat this developer I instantly really liked this camera angle and it's 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 very clever I was able not as I wasn't playing to watch it and notice some of the subtleties of it and it, there are little movements like a, a real camera makes right like slight adjustments and things that um, just sell you on this broadcast camera and I really like the I really like it I think it does uh, well, it's just like you recognise from TV. You yeah. know? I mean, that is how we're mostly consuming football, yes. and it's just like that. It's, yeah. it's really well done, I think. We should also mention you can obviously change the camera angle yeah. to like oh. the default. All the other, uh, all you, the other cameras are know. still there. They're still there, but I just think it says something about the way Pez is thinking of itself that it's decided to make the default camera angle this broadcast style camera yeah. this time. Yeah. And the fifth entry is uh, just simply how it feels to play yeah which um we talk about every year yeah and it's definitely slower this year that was absolutely the first thing i noticed yeah absolutely in sort of like a and it it kind of feels like it yo-yos year on year one year will be like it feels feels faster and snappier this year and it's like they're (laughs) constantly tweaking that slider trying to find the perfect balance and it did feel I think it, it makes sense when you take into account all the other changes, like the dummy shot. It basically gives you more time to think about the options, especially when you're in that final third and you've got like maybe midfielders making overlapping runs, wing yeah. backs maybe going up, and you've got it gives you just an extra split second to make decisions, and maybe maybe you'll pull off the dummy shot because you'll see like someone overlapping you, and yeah. it just felt it just felt nice and fluid and intuitive I think. Yeah, I think I think it's um you know it's that kind of speed where you can be a little bit more considered and I think actually the really telling thing about that is is the new uh dribble um stick the, yes. the, using the right stick because it, that's all about close control it it works better with a slower pace of game yeah. you invite you 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 can step back a little bit invite defenders to come at you and make them look stupid you know it's not yeah, all about sure. hammering it up the pitch as fast as possible and trying to get a pass away there's much more i think room now for like i said taking your time inviting a defender to take him out of the of the you know stepping around and taking yeah. him out of the play creating a, a gap here and there and, and that kind of thing so i really really like this this dribble this new mode of dribbling that yeah. they've got um and i think it w- works really well with that slower gameplay for sure and I did also notice a tiny little bit of change with the ball physics which I really enjoyed as well yeah. it's called it feels slightly more like a real football <laughs> like imagine it does every year every yeah. year it's like okay this is what real football 
feels now like this, this is time. a real now, football. This is a real football, and this year it feels even more like a I real football. I can't believe I thought last year's football was a real football. <laughs> this is a real football. It's just the way that when players pass it, it just as it moves through the air, if the pass comes off the ground a little bit, it gets a, maybe a little bit of whip on it, a little bit of curve. Yeah. The way it bobbles along the floor just feels a bit more satisfying this year. Um, when it when you when a player controls it when it comes off their shin it just feels a bit more pleasing it's one of those things that's really hard to articulate and often in these videos we end up coming up with silly cliched words like yeah. impactful yeah. <laughs> smooth <laughs> dynamic which don't really mean anything and you have to play it to kind of get what we're talking yeah. about um, but it did feel really pleasing to play it did and really Moorish I think yes. most importantly unfortunately we only man you and I only managed to have two games yeah. together this year which yep. is slightly fewer than usual and I, I just desperately want to play some more especially yeah. because I can hold my hands up and say that Rob beat me both times I wasn't going to say Dave quite, quite easily you know, I have you know but I honestly was thinking I'll get him next time and then our time was up. So yeah, Alas. I will uh, get you next time. But there are five big changes to eFootball PES 2020. Um, let us know what you think of these changes in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you stay up to date with everything from the world of PlayStation. For the players.